Okay, hi there and welcome to another Synoptic Short. Uh, we did two videos on the economics of electric vehicles. Transport is a popular topic for synoptic questions. So here's a short video looking at some of the micro and macroeconomic influences that affect the profitability of airlines in the European Union. Airlines are enjoying at the moment a period of, of very good profits. Uh, in fact, 2017 saw the fourth highest year of profits on record. Um, but there's intense competition between airlines now and also the, the threat of rising costs, both of which can squeeze profit margins. But the airline industry is a, just a good example of where lots of uncertain micro and macro economic factors can have a significant effect on, on profits, on investment and uh, many other economic variables. So again, synoptic just means trying to pick out micro and macro. It's that interlinking, interconnecting aspect of the subject we're testing in paper three. So I've, I've shaped here three micro factors that could inf impact on profits. You'll know, of course, the difference between normal profits, subnormal and supernormal. And hopefully you'll have in your mind as we're going through this, can you visualize certain diagrams which might be helpful in the exam? So one influence is the impact on profits of new entrants into the industry. So uh, a, new, a new airline establishes itself and that makes the market more contestable. Good example in recent times has been the emergence of Norwegian Airlines, a low cost, long haul carrier that is now uh, competing with British Airways and Virgin on transatlantic uh, routes between UK and Boston, for example, UK and New York. Um, second micro impact will be the impact of mergers and takeovers. So you might, for example, get a question looking at the possible micro and macroeconomic effects of mergers and takeovers. To what extent does a merger improve profitability going forward? Not every merger or takeover works, of course, in, in enhancing shareholder value. Good example in the European context was the acquisition by Lufthansa of Air Berlin in 2017. And those of you with a very strong feel for environmental economics might want to bring into play uh, environmental factors on the micro side. For example, an increase in the price of carbon permits inside the European emissions trading uh, system, or perhaps the introduction of a carbon tax affecting the costs and the prices and profits of airlines. So those are kind of micro factors affecting profits. And of course, lots of macro factors. This is a an industry which is, um, well, both global and also cyclical. The performance of the world economy affects the the uh, output, the capacity of the airline industry. So when the world economy is growing strongly, per capita income is going up in real terms, people have a high income elasticity of demand for airline travel. So rising per capita incomes could be increasing demand and profits in the airline sector, uh, in particular in emerging economies. A cost factor on the macro side would be the world price of oil. Typically, jet fuel accounts for about about a quarter or a fifth of the operating costs of the big airlines. And then we might want to factor in the impact, the possible impact of Brexit on the airline sector. What about the possible impact of tariffs and other forms of protectionism on airlines? Uh, for example, affecting the, the flying rights to and from the UK to the European Union. Who knows, they might bring Brexit and transport and airlines together in a question. For example, EasyJet and Ryanair, two well-known low-cost flyers, they've already both set up parallel companies in Europe and the UK, respectively, to help ensure they can continue operations from new uh, airport hubs should the worst happen and Britain leaves the EU with a, a no-deal Brexit. So there we go, another example of synoptic economics. Are you getting a hang of this now? We're looking for the micro and the macro aspects. And if you can get those factors down and analyse and evaluate them, you'll do tremendously well in the paper.